up guys it's joyous vlogs and today today you guys are back again with another video and guys today it is scriptures so i'm just kidding guys yo what is up team with you it is john vlog and today today you're back again with another video guys i kind of went over to england over there for a second but today guys is scripture sunday every set that i read scripture from hold on got some tape on my i don't know i got tape on my arm every sunday i read scripture from the beautiful, amazing word of God. The amazing word of God, and I break it down so it can help your life, your day, your week. Just help your life, and I hope it impacts you, and it just brings some inspiration to your life. It increases your faith. I get so many great things, man. So excited for the word. So excited for the amazing word of God. So yeah, without further ado, let's go and get right into it. Guys, a couple days ago in Texas, it snowed, y'all. It snowed. Last year, it snowed, and it didn't go so well. It snowed, and the power... Or a lot of people lost power, but this year, guys, it was had snow and it was super exciting, super fun. Uh, I got I made a vlog out of it. Go for yeah, go check it out. It's a little short video, and it was just super fun. Finally, snow. There's still some snow out here, but between me and you, the Texas snow, you cannot survive the Texas heat. All right, it's literally 45, 47, 8 degrees, y'all, and it feels so good in here. It feels hot in the car, and I can, I'm wearing shorts right now. I'm wearing shorts, and bro. Earlier it was like 15 degrees. Couldn't even step outside without wearing five layers. Now it's 48. I can wear a shirt, bro. I only wearing this little little sweatshirt I have. Guys, we're chilling. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. So, guys, today's scripture is coming from 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7, and it says, "For we walk by faith, not by sight." I'll say it again. For we walk by faith and not by Site. And I kind of have a couple other scriptures I'm going to say in between that resonates with this message. But let's just go ahead and get right to the video. So, guys, what is faith? What is faith? Like, what you hear the word faith a lot. What is faith? It, but, guys, guess what? The Bible has, I call it Bible Google. Bible. The Bible has definitions. So, I call it Bible Google. And it's Hebrews 11 1. Faith's definition is it's the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I'll say it again. Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So guys, faith is a word we hear a lot, right? We hear faith a lot. We say, we hear keep the faith. We say, we hear have faith. Faith, 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 and faith, right? But sometimes it's hard. If we're being honest, sometimes it's hard to exercise faith. And it, it, it's hard to exercise faith. And we we, we love we love saying, oh, let's go, man, let's go. Walk by faith, not by sight. We love seeing it on coffee mugs, on bracelets, on bumper stickers. Walk by faith, not by sight. We love it. Well, ask Peter, walking on water, walk by faith and not by sight. Ask Peter. You remember he was working on water with Jesus? Ask him to walk by faith and not by sight. How? How can you walk by faith and not by sight if you're walking on water? How can you walk by faith and not by sight if a storm is abrupting around you and you're literally walking on H2O? Like, walking on water. There's something that's not solid. Some of you may be asking, God, how am I supposed to walk by faith and not by sight in a situation like this? God, he asked me to have faith. He asked me to walk by faith and not by sight. But how am I supposed to do that if... uh? Everything is abrupting. The storm is doing. I'm pretty much walking on water. How, God? And guys, in life, you may not feel like you're even able to see. It feels like you have a blindfold on, like like this. In fact, I have a blindfold on right here. There's a little headband. And sometimes in life, it feels like you have a head uh, a blindfold on, right? Just like this. I cannot see a thing, God. I cannot literally see a thing. But sometimes it feels just like that. Sometimes God will have us walking with a blindfold like this, and God will say, walk by faith. Huh? God will have us with the blindfold, blindfold on just like this, and he'll say, okay, Giles, okay, whoever's watching this video, okay, have faith. And you're like, what in the world? Well, guess what? What if I told you guys a little secret? What if I told you you don't need to see to have faith? So guys, for you to experience this with me, I'm going to put on a black screen. Now, don't worry, it's not an editing oh, mistake. Hey, I put hey, on a black hey, screen hey, for a hey, reason. Hey, hey. So you could uh, just experience it with me. Don't worry, I'll put a little cute puppy in the corner so it's not just all alone pitch black. Well, if you're walking and you have a blindfold on, right, you may not be able to see. If you have a blindfold on, you're not going to be able to see because it's blocking your vision. But you have other senses. You have touch, taste, smell, and in hearing you may not be able to see but you have four other senses touch taste smell and hearing and i want to focus on hearing and when i said you don't need to see to have faith 
guess what? I'm going to put the black screen off now. But guess what? Romans 10, 17 says, So then faith cometh by hearing. Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So what does that mean? What does that mean? So you may not be able to see in life. You may be in a um, time in your life or a season in life where you just feel like you can't see anything. Like you're not be able to see. You're not able to move around. Well, you may not be able to see, but you still can have faith. You still do have faith. Why? Because faith comes by hearing. Hear God. Listen to God. God is directing you in his word. Remember last week about the Lord's lamp to my feet, light to my path. God is directing you. And how do you hear? How do you hear by faith? It's in his word. Read his word every day. Read his word daily. And you will hear. You will hear by faith. And it kind of reminds me when I was like writing this stuff down. It reminds me if you ever watched Dragon Ball Z or I think it's in Dragon Ball Super. I looked it up. And there's an episode where Goku, the main one of the main characters, he um is activating this thing called in. Uh, it's called Ultra Instinct. Ultra Instinct. And basically, in the episode, he has his eyes closed a, a long period of time, and he's activating Ultra Instinct to where he's not relying on his sight, but relying on his other senses by hearing and feeling. Well, guess what? Just like that, God will sometimes have us close our eyes and make us have a blindfold on to grow our faith in other senses, in other areas, letting us hear by faith. We may see things in faith. We may look at things in faith, but also God wants us to hear things in faith, hear by faith. God, this is blessing me, y'all. God sometimes wants us to hear by faith, not always just um, smell by faith. I'm, I'm making sense. Smell by faith or taste by faith, but hear by faith. And what does Hebrews 11 and 1 say? Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So you may be having a blindfold on in your life, so-called. You may be having a blindfold on spiritually, but guess what? You can hear by faith. You can hear by the word of God. Let's go, y'all. Let's get it. So yeah, guys, I want you to exercise hearing by faith. Read God's word. Write down some notes. Study the word of God. Hear by faith and things like that. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for all the love and support. If you're new to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, hope that you would drop a like. And when you subscribe, make sure to comment down below and turn on the post notifications that you um did all that so I can give you a shout out. And just because it means a lot that we're growing and just amazing things are headed um in the way, uh, headed our way. So I'm just so excited for what is in store. What well, got us through and through this YouTube channel. And yeah, guys, thank God for your continuous support. And feel free to go check out my website, jobsbook.com, if you want to go check out one of my books. So, without further ado, stay positive, stay happy, and remember, never give up. I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Let's go.